Hey everybody, this is a little bit of an answer for Michael Hintz. Uh, you had a question for the community. The best way for me to actually answer that is by doing a little bit of a video. So why not? So the one thing you're asking is uh, how to actually change your title. So that way you can have a title image on anything like that. So like on this YouTube channel, he's actually got his... Uh, Kind of a logo and a nice little intro image. And uh, there's Doug. And <laughs> so you wanted to actually pick yours. Here's actually you. You wanted to be able to pick whatever image that you see on here. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the one quick easy way to do it is if you uploaded it from your, your uh, phone, you can actually go to your channel on any computer go to manage your videos it'll bring you to the screen here so if you go ahead and highlight your image and you actually see it, it does this details here so this is where you can edit anything onto your that uh, video uh, content so down here is actually those pictures right there these three right here are auto-generated by YouTube once you load it. It's a certain time that they actually pick it. Sometimes these will actually work perfect. Sometimes, like this video right here, they're completely worthless to get an interest into your video. So you can click any of these. That will be what you'd see on that title page. So if you wanted to have a little bit more of an interesting video, you can use this box here so say if I was actually uploading from uh, the computer and getting that just like any other time we'll go we'll see this screen right here so if I select the file and let's say I just picked this video for the hell of it. You'll actually pop up into the screen and then there's this button down here that says upload thumbnail. This upload thumbnail has to be below 2.0 megabytes. And that is just for the quality of the thumbnail. If they didn't have a limit on that, it would probably crash their site. Maybe, I don't know. So if you click on that, it should bring up a bunch of options. If you hold your cursor there, you can see that size on that where it says 1.63 megabytes. So that's below the 2.0 megabyte requirement. So that one will work. But if we go over to this one, it is 2.60 megabytes. That one will not work. And if we click that and open it, it's going to give us this file bigger than two point megabytes. Um, so it will not upload that. It will pick this one automatically. So if we pick this one, it will show that it's going to upload the video. This will be the title screen of that. So that is an easy way of doing it. It's probably the easiest way. Say you you want to start getting into a little bit fancier images and all that and get rid of these black bars and have some custom look on it, what you can do, I'll cancel that upload. What you can do is uh, find a photo editor that you're not afraid to use. I use Photoshop Elements. It is not super hard, but it does take some getting used to. And the one thing is, is there's so many videos on YouTube that will actually show you how to do it properly. So, if we start a new one. I'm just going to open up a new, open up an image. So this one right here would have been the original one that I took for that video, the last one that was posted. Let me 
close this one. I don't want to open that one because that was the one that was already open. So if I open that, there is original image. There's multiple modes. There's a quick, very quick, it's just a smart fix that's very basic. I usually use the guided and expert. Underneath the guided, it has an easy way of getting to the cropping. And I would always use 16.9 because it's a, a video. And that's the standard for uh, YouTube and all that is 16.9. You can rotate it, square it up. And it's still going to be some side image. That's fine. And you can change your brightness. You can even auto, do auto fix on that. You can do even old faction stuff. You can give it a little black and white and everything like that. You can adjust all that. But I don't really want that. I want something bright. So we can do a saturated film. I usually like this on a lot of my pictures. It brings the red to about what the red color is that you see in your real life. And, you know, it pops all that red out. So that's two quick things that I usually do. There's a ton of options here. Once you start getting to learn it and you start playing with it, its possibilities are endless. You can even get rid of all this on the side and blend it all. So if I go to expert mode, I also can go to file and place. And then it'll bring you up to your browser. And I have a logo file that has the background completely erased from it. And so once it's placed down there, I can I can twer turn it and everything like that. I can resize it, place it exactly where I want it. And so there's that. Now I'll hit the file save as. It'll be, I always name mine something different, and I save it as a JPEG. You want it as a JPEG because I think that's the file type that I'll actually want to read. And I click save, save. The reason why I like Photoshop for this is because it tells me the preview size. So once this file is saved, that's that it would be the size of the file. And now that's saved. So, if I go back, if I wanted to change this to that file, I can hit change, or if it's the first time picking that, it will automatically open this window. I can go and find that file that I saved it in. Starting to get quite a few files in here. This is that one. If I highlight it, you'll see it's 1.81 megabytes. Same size as it told me it was going to be. I'm going to click open. There's the new file. There you can have your logo and all that. And, um, and then once you do that, Make sure you hit the save button. I'm not going to do that. So I just hit undo changes. It'll go back to the other one. But if you don't hit the save, it will not load that. But keep that. So click that save button. Then that new image becomes your intro. And a little side note for some of you guys. On this end screen button right here. If you click that, this is where you can add your videos at the end. You have a subscription button and a couple of these. You just go to this spot, add element, and click video. That will pick a specific video. 
any video on YouTube, you can actually search somebody's video and you can put it on there. So if you're doing a buddy build and you wanted their their video on that, you can actually pick that and put it on there. And then right here it shows that. You also can adjust when they come, when they light up. So if you watch that preview screen, the one's on there. As time goes by, now the other one comes on and the other one. So don't all have to be all at once. So there's another little tip. And then when, you, when you're done, make sure you hit the save. I didn't do no changes, so I just hit the discard changes. So I really hope this helps you, Mike, and anybody else. Uh, I know a lot of guys they ain't the best computer savvy and out there, but if you're willing to try it, it's easy. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. Um, you can ask one of us. I'd love to help you. If I know it, I'm going to try to help you. So, Mike, anybody else, if you got any more questions, let me know. I hope this helped you out. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.